taking no that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, no top, you stop breathing. And then just to highlight, just the, there's a there's another card live on the zone. You know, Eddie has his, you know, has his own um is it has his own card going, his own uh British card going. Um uh, where now we're gonna have one Dillian White that's actually going to try to repair his reputation, the reputation that he pretty much ruined, you know, in very quick and short fashion, mm -hmm. you know. After the after the whole fucking fury fight, like Jesus Christ, <laughs> you know, and then you know he's he basically he gets a shot of redemption, you know, facing a young American fighter, Jermaine Franklin, who's really you know who's only been really seen on Showbox, you know, it's a couple of fights on Showbox, but we're dealing white. So why is dealing white in this position? Well, because he got knocked out by Pavekin, surprisingly. You know, after we, when he was coming close to knocking him out, and he got caught with an uppercut. Only guy that all his losses are all uppercuts. Every single one of them. Joshua mm. knocked out uppercut. Mm. Prevekin, him, uppercut. Him and J Rock are somehow cousins, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm about to say a uh, good save pilot because I was like, he ain't the only nigga who be, <laughs> who be catching them uppercuts and them L's. Right. Yeah, and of course, like the only time that dude that white took an uppercut and fell down but got back up. Was you know was against uh, Rivas, where of course it was later found he failed the PED test, so that might have played a part in why he got his ass back up. Still, still, still wondering where that missing B sample went. Right? Yeah. <laughs> still wonder. Ain't gonna ever find it. <laughs> exactly. You know. Yeah, so it's just gone forever. Right, and then you know he gets the you know he gets the then he rematches Pavekin, who was clearly struggling from the effects of of COVID, like he was struggling, you know, and knocks him out. And then he was supposed to face Otto Valen, which would have been a respectable fight, seeing as Valen gave Fury all types of problems. You know, last of the 12, put 50 stitches in his face, all types of shit. You know, and it was like, oh, you know, you face him, you get, you, first of all, you're not inactive, you get some work in, and if you have a chance to knock somebody out that Fury has struggled with, and bam, you, you, you can really sell the fight. But he pulls out because of a shoulder injury. You know, and then proceeds to not do fuck all. Doesn't didn't want to uh, got the title shot. You know, after Fury knocked out Wilder, you know, because Eddie was like, yeah, yeah, you know, we're, we're not gonna take this fight. You know, fuck you. You know, fuck. What's a fucking what's a what's a auto violent? Fuck auto violent. We're gonna we're gonna get the shot at Fury. Does fuck all? Doesn't you know? Doesn't do anything to sell the fight. You know, it has an attitude. And then when you see him, this motherfucker looks like he's you know. He's been eating like he hasn't been he, he was you know he, he wasn't doing no type of training or anything like that and he goes into the fucking ring and he fights like a fucking caveman like <laughs> yeah that's, that's much for it and then fury ices his ass with one uppercut so it's like yeah, yeah, white i mean is, i thought I, I thought white was maybe it was a bad form I, I thought he was better than that you know I, I thought he was better than that too. Like I couldn't believe this bullshit that he pulled, but it's like now Eddie has to, you know, rebuild him because it's like, you know, is because apparently Stay the, rebuilding this nigga. And they have to because and the fight was too. White used to be so consistent. Like White was, you know, was a consistent fight. Like, like at one time, you know, dude, dude was a legit top five heavyweight, but now it's just like, you know, he's you he, he don't know where his mind is. I mean, or, or right now. Yeah. Once upon a time, they thought water was ducking him for years. I mean, he, he was. He That's was. Right. Nigga, what the fuck? Just know, because you don't think he would have won, yeah. don't mean he ain't a duck. I yeah, because, I mean, no, he, no one he, he, he ducked Dillian White to fight Tyson Fury. I think that was a good choice if that's a duck. Nah, he was ducking this man for like four years. Y'all seen the text. Y'all y'all seen the interview. Like, yeah. And, like, and, and then Tyson, dude, Wilder, like, what well, Brazil was the first ranked top 10 contender he defended against like all these all defenses the wilder was having they weren't no real like rank the defenses they were just niggas and they were just giving him the fight that's right. why we always be shitting on his goddamn resume right and white was there and white was actually putting in enough work where it was we can vouch that yeah. he the title shot during Wilder's title run. Basically, so. basically, Wilder ducking White would be like Charlo refusing to fight Fondora. Right, <laughs> right. You know, say, and that, and that was the part. And like I say, and that's where we, that's where why we put respect on White there because White 
had built himself a nice who's who of who he was beating. Dude, White got a better, better resume than Wilder. That's the crazy part about it. That's why it was looking bad. Like The thing is, a lot of times, people only want to apply logic and be rational when it's their favorite fighter. But the true test of objectivity is doing what's right for motherfuckers you don't even fuck with. Right. <laughs> like, no one's, I mean, no one's, like, niggas think he's saying all this shit, make me a fan of Dylan White. Nah, he cool. He all right. He makes some good fights, but, you know, I ain't got to be a fan of him to, to say, you know, Wilder ducked him shit. It's yeah. true. It's facts. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely true. Yeah, there's, there's no. It wasn't. Reason. It wasn't because of fucking Tyson Fury either. He had nothing to do with that shit. Like, yeah, Fury because like I said at the Fury time, wasn't even in the picture. Right at the time, because when Ty, when Wilder was talking that Fury shit, because White was already put up the performances, and Fury was out there eating candy and smoking candy and snorting. Yeah, candy. yeah. So, still with Ricky Hatton and shit. Yeah, so that, that was the thing. So Fury, you know, was looked at, at like. People always forget, always likes to forget. Fury was looked at as the soft touch, not white. He was the soft touch. You know that's why Wilder went after, him and then it, and and it, and it backfired on him because he, you know, the cherry picking, you know, came to an end because when he realized that, oh, Fury's an actual better boxer than Wilder, a far better boxer than Wilder, and a more probably devastating puncher than Wilder based off the results of the three fights. Yo. So yeah, I mean, so you know, shit happens. That's what that's the best boxing god shit. But White now has his own boxing guy situation going on because Jermaine Franklin is, is is unheralded. Like, you know, he had, I mean, his best win is probably the Rydell Booker fight. You know, someone that mean LB watched when he, when he lost to James Tony all those years ago. Yeah. So, and the funny thing too is that, and dude, dude's, I mean, dude, I'm not saying dude doesn't, I mean, dude can fight a little bit. He does have enough power, enough power that he could probably, he can knock out White if White is caught slipping. You know, because I know Franklin has actually put up videos of him working on an uppercut, <laughs> working on uppercuts. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It, it, so it would, it would be so like this fight has all the makings of a knockout. Like, I mean, I think we're all in agreement. Like, White should win this fight if he wants a chance to actually go for it. Because the winner of this fight will probably be Joshua's next opponent, based on what Eddie Hearn is saying. Um, because yeah, a loss to Jermaine Franklin and that is and pretty much I think White's career is probably nearing done. <laughs> you can't you, this you know this this is a fight that we believe that should end in a knockout and White should absolutely put him away. Like this is not a fight, so White better be in that fucking gym like training his ass off. Like you know, and that's why this fight mildly appears to me because it's like because you know fucking White will get iced by an uppercut if he's not careful. <laughs> so, yeah. I you mean, the, yeah, I like the I like the Fabio Wardley, the the, the British heavyweight prospect on there. there. There's a couple little fights I like on this card. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll watch. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, Eddie put together a good, decent British card for once, and you know, so you know, uh, so I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna be worth. I mean, I could I could sit there and watch it, you know, you know, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of those fights. But yeah, the, I mean, obviously the white fights the selling point because you just see like, hey. You know, is White worth the check? Because I know White has been at White has been wanting another shot at Anthony Joshua. You know, and I mean, I mean, White, like he, White loses this, he's pretty much you know. I mean, he's you know he might. I mean, it's different in in the UK. They love their boxing, so I don't say he's done, but he's on. He's hope he'll be barely hanging on a string if he somehow loses this fight. Dude, I don't even know about that. Tesoro is fighting Fury, so hey, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it's like. <laughs> Why does it seem like a guy who no who never take advantage of his opportunities? Well, he did it the one the one time he did too. It's the thing that you know the the one time he did is like because he I mean he because because he he you know he kind of he got out of the violent fight you know so that was the one opportunity like because he didn't want to risk it again with, I mean with Pavek after what happened with the Pavek again. yeah but then he doesn't promote the Fury fight and fights like he didn't promote the fight yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's like that. It's like, come on, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, like white and yeah, that was that, that was a big disappointment. I mean, and, and he was still making like eight million dollars. He bitching about money, like motherfucker. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like white and, and like I said, we like we don't we don't dislike white. We all we like white's been enough scraps. We put enough for. And he make it hard for you to root for him. I yeah. don't really, I don't really give a damn about Dillian White to be honest. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, but, but he just he's just somebody in the division, you know. 
AJ Z felt that boy's momentum down. Hopefully he can get it back. Yeah. Plus yeah. he's an he's an annoying showman, but whatever. It's like it's like yeah, heavyweight from like he is, he is. It's like he's stacking the heavyweight, you know, there's there's that first tier kinda, but he's like heavyweight's kinda like from like six to fourteen are just kinda all over the place. I mean the drop off by then is huge. It's pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. It's a huge drop. Like heavyweight's the only division where you don't have a top ten, you have like a top seven. Right. <laughs> if, if that, no, even top seven might be a little generous. Yeah, after too. Joy, after Joyce and Ruiz is kind of like okay, you know, we'll, we'll watch it because to, top seven is going to be like White is going to be there somewhere at number seven. Basically, yeah. Right. You know, yes, yeah, it, it's yeah, it's what, yeah. So yeah, heavyweight says like a huge drop of like upsets at heavyweight don't really happen like that because of the you know the drop off but every now but then when that does happen usually white's in the middle of that shit so that's the problem yeah he, he <laughs> only wasn't getting upset about it <laughs> yeah and, and we and yeah because i'm pretty sure should he get knocked out franklin will probably make an appearance on his if i if i'm not mistaken he is currently not ranked in any of the four uh sanctioning bodies oh no excuse me no he, he's with the wbo he's wbo he's a wbo ranking right now but uh yeah he's like this is not a guy that you know you know you don't want to make him a de facto top seven heavyweight <laughs> right. oh, i mean there's oh, a fight uh, the blockage versus Craig Richards might be a, a low-key sleeper fight so if y'all if y'all it sound like you really feeling this card nigga. it just sounds like a bunch of damn job festival on this bitch it's some random european names that i'm just not interested in <laughs> what's that sound it ain't me Oh, I got to say, it's like, geez, it's like, it was a thumb. Nah, but, but this Balakins nigga is kind of entertaining in Craig Richards. I'm just saying. Balakins, hold on, who's is that the ball head cat? Yeah, he's a ball head. He looks like, he's like the, he's like the 168 or 165 Cheeseman, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's always in these little scraps. That's all. Oh, my God. Can we stop comparing everybody to Cheeseman? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's the guy that everyone just throws at. Like, if you're a guy, face first, forward, good action fighter, you're Cheeseman. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Cheeseman, I mean, Cheeseman hasn't even been Cheeseman well because, you know, he's currently, you know, <laughs> trying to get his shit together because, you know, he's been getting into all these wars. I mean, hey, I mean, I guess, I mean, if Ted Cheeseman, I mean, because you're not the only one, because people on boxing social media like to use Ted Cheeseman's name too. Like, he's he's like the de facto example of a British fighter who gets into too many fucking yeah, wars. I just saw, um, I guess Frank Warren's put on Zach Parker versus John Ryder, Canelo's next opponent. <laughs> that's that's on as well on 26, randomly. Well, God bless him. I don't give a damn about that fight. <laughs> oh no, that fight's this weekend too. No, no, yes. no. Zach, not oh, yeah. yeah, it's not that weekend. What are you talking about, pilot? It's not this weekend. It's not that weekend. No, yeah. but uh, but yeah, you know, but you know, yeah. If you want to watch, you know, if you want to, if you want to watch uh, White do his thing on the zone, well, that's what he's, he's gonna be in at Saturday afternoon. And you can watch that before you watch Pro Gray and Zapata do their thing. Uh, Saturday night, 